Amazing people, how is it going over there? Today, without wasting much of your time, I want to uh, talk about feed formulation. Actually, the two videos I've made, like in this video where I told you how you can calculate crude protein using try and error method, this is actually not how you prepare your feed. Is just a basic part of it okay how do I mean you will observe that I only gave you some of the uh, solid ingredients you are going to be adding not even all the solid ingredients like your vitamins your other pre uh, premix and additives I did not uh, uh, list them out in this formulation this formulation I did here is just for you to know how to calculate percentage crude protein okay in this other video too I talked about how you can use piercing method to calculate crude protein just go and watch this video you will understand how to do it however those two methods is not something you just take hook line and sinker or maybe you just do copy and paste and somebody said this formula works no 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 I only gave you that one just for you to have idea of how to calculate percentage crude protein you will observe in that video we never calculated percentage ashes uh, fiber and other things you need to look into as well but just for you to have an idea of how to calculate the feed, uh, the, the percentage crude protein. Okay, good. So let's assume you we are on the same page now. And assuming uh, you want to prepare a, 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 a feed of just 50 kg. And looking at the way I calculated my percentage crude protein, I based my production on 100 kg. Good. So if you are not going to prepare 50 kg, what you need to do is just divide those inclusion percentage by 2. 50 is, all, is half of 100. In that calculation, I calculated for 100 kg. But in your own case, maybe you want to make 50 kg feed. So what you have to do is just divide by 2. So let's assume where I told you you should use blood meal of 10% uh, and 10% of 10 kg is 10 kg uh, of 100 kg is 10 kg as well. And in your own case, you are preparing just 50 kg feed, which means your percentage inclusion in that feed is going to be your percentage inclusion is going to be 10%, only that you'll be measuring just. 5 kg because 5 kg is if you find it difficult make sure you use the comment feet. section below this video nobody knows it all and no, uh, at times you might be confused but i want to employ you to uh, stay attentive so that you will not be confused is that clear okay let me cite this as an instance good here is a drink so let's assume this is the drink i formulated myself so let's assume this is my 100 kg feed. This is your feed now. Let's assume this is your feed, which is 100 kg. The one I calculated using either piercing method or the try and error method. So let's assume this is your feed, 100 kg. And in your own case, you don't want to produce 100 kg. You want to produce half of this. You want to produce uh, 50 kg. And I already gave you that, okay, I had uh, maybe 10, 10 kg of uh, sugar, 10 kg of water, 10 kg of whatever to make up this 100 kg initially. So what you have to do in your own case that you are just making 50 kg is that you just divide the value I use in getting this 100 kg by 2. I hope you understand now. So let's assume while I was producing this 
uh, 100 kg feed. I made use of 10 kg sugar. In your own case, if you want to produce 50 kg feed, that means you'll be using 5 kg sugar. I hope you understand. Good. Uh, maybe I should cite this instance again. Let's assume this is your 100 kg steel. Good. I, de I, I made up my mind to pour this thing into four cups. If I decided to pour this thing into four cups, they will still taste the same way. Each of the cup will have the same sugar content. I hope you understand. So the same thing is applicable to if you are not calculate if, if you want to make a, a feed of maybe 25 kg, a feed of 50 kg, a feed of 10 kg, you just use this as a base. So let's assume, just like I told you, let's assume in this feed I made use of 10 kg of sugar. And you want to provide uh, you, you, you want to produce 25 kg of feed now, which means this thing you have to divide it into four to get the value of sugar you will have in your own production. I hope you understand now. So that is that. The same thing goes for if you want to produce more than this 100 kg. So let's assume you want to produce like 150 or even a thousand kg of feed or you want to even go on commercial basis. You have to base your calculation on 100 kg at first, then you now multiply out. So let's assume this is still your 100 kg feed. And while I was producing this 100 kg feed, I made this of 10 kg sugar. And in your own case now, you want to produce 1000 kg feed, which means the amount of sugar you eventually need to produce 1000 kg is going to be this 10 kg multiplied by 10. That's 100 kg plus other additives. Everything is going to be multiplied by 10 in order to get the value. I hope you understand. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually what I want to share with you. This method is something you have to watch this video over and over again. And even if you are still finding it very difficult to understand, I'm always at your beck and call. Just call me, text me, or even drop uh, a message under each of my video, and I'm going to attend to it as soon as practicable. Uh, that being said, if you have not subscribed to my channel, of course, do I need to go on, to, uh, on the mountain to beg you to do that? No, no, All wrong. Subscribe, subscribe. Without you, we cannot build any community. So I need you, I need you. So that being said, Corona is still real. Stay safe. Bye for now.